Let's get started with OPC Historical Data Access, or OPC HDA. To do this, we're going to use a product called Trend Historian from Canary Labs. There are only going to be three steps to this process. First, we'll create the data archive that Canary Labs calls a data set. That's where we're going to be storing all of our process values. The second step is to tell our process historian what OPC server to connect to and what values to archive. And the third step is going to be to retrieve all of these values from our process historian and display them on the screen. Let's get to the first step, which is to create the data archive that Canary Labs calls a data set. To do this, we click on the Historian Admin menu option in the Canary Logger Administrator. The Historian Administrator uh, window pops up, and all we need to do here is to click on the Create New Data Set button. And what I will do is I will call this the Randy Data Set and I'll click on OK and there you have it that's all it takes to create a new data archive a data set and here we see Randy data set and its status is closed from here we just close the historian administrator window and we're right back in the canary logger administrator window from here we're going to tell our historian what OPC server to connect to and what values to actually archive in the second step we're going to start logging our process values. To do this, we click on File, New Log Session. We're now presented with a new dialog box here that asks us for the name, and I'll call this the Randy Log Session. From here, I will leave the historian computer the same. That's going to be my computer. That's the default. Uh, the OPC server computer, again, the default. That's my computer. And for the OPC server, I'm going to select uh, what OPC server to connect to. Well, I just click on the ellipsis button, and up comes a list of the OPC servers that are available on my PC. And I see four of them, and I'm going to specifically choose the Kepware Enhanced OPC DDE server and click on OK. Now that I've chosen the OPC server, I have to tell the, uh, the archive what values to actually store. So I right click on the dark gray area on the bottom side and I hit browse OPC server. Well, here we go, and this is what's available in the OPC server. We see several branches, and uh, oh, there is a factory, and I'm going to go to OPC TI. And in order to actually store the values, the first thing I have to do is tell it uh, to tell Trend Historian what data set to use. And I'll choose the Randy data set that I created before, and now I can choose all of the process values. And here we go, and I'll click on Apply. Um, I'll go to ramp and I see some more values and I'll add all of those and I'll click on apply and I'll go to sign. I'm an engineer, I, I like curves. So I'll, I'll add the signs and I'll click on apply and I can look, uh, I can look at some other values in here, uh, what's available and I can, I can add really anything that I want. And once I'm satisfied that everything is, uh, is there, that, that I'm archiving everything that I want, I can click on OK. Well, I am now actually, I've selected what values I wanted to archive, here they all are, and uh, what I'll do now is apply all of my changes, I've applied them, and I'll save all of my changes, and I'll save these in a file called the Randy Log Session, and I'll click on Save. Now that everything is saved, I can actually start archiving. So I click on the Start button, and what you see are all of the values uh, and here they are changing, they all go black. If uh, you ever see them in red in this particular product, that's an indication of a problem. But uh, here we see that we're archiving all the values, you can see them all changing, and uh, we're now archiving everything. So the next step is going to be to retrieve those values. And keep in mind, until now, we've just used OPC uh, data access. We have not used OPC historical data access at all. We've just used OPC data access to connect to our OPC data access server and to collect the real-time values. The next step is going to be to retrieve all of those values from our process historian and to display them. And we will use the Canary Trend Link product. Now that we've archived our process values, 
let's actually display them and this time we'll be using OPC historical data access. In order to do this we'll use a product called Canary Trend Link from Canary Labs again. Uh, here we have uh, Canary Trend Link pops right up and all we do is we right click in the uh, white area and the big white area and click on add trends. As soon as we do that we can see right away that we're looking at our OPC historical data access servers on our local PC. We're looking at the Canary Labs OPC historical data access server and that's where we actually archived our values before and we see the Randy data set and here are all of the values that, uh, that we archived before that we told the historian to archive. Well, what I'll do is I'll just click on a couple of different um, a couple of different values here we got sign one and uh, um, I'll click I'll, I'll do a multiple select I'll click ramp and maybe I'll click on flow in one um, and I'll click on OK and I'll just archive these three values and here we go we can see that we've archived uh, these values and here are the values and they're actually being displayed one of the neat things with this particular product is that I can click on the play button, at least it looks like a play button, but it's actually the live mode button and uh, we can actually see the values updating in real time. And here we see our sign, uh, here we see our flow in one and we see our ramp. And uh, we can even do a zoom and here we go, we're doing a zoom and we're actually zooming in on these values. And that's really all that it takes to uh, retrieve process values using the OPC historical data access specification.